Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this lecture, I will demonstrate you the configurations for supplier specific tolerances. I am on the SAP system now under the logistic module in the invoice verification section under incoming invoice you will find an option to configure the supplier specific tolerances execute this option and you will be land on the relevant screen in this activity you will define the tolerance group for each company code you can assign these tolerance groups to your supplier in the supplier master record which i will show you now first go to the position and locate your company code if it does not exist either create a new entries or copy the sap template for the company code 0001 go to the company code 0001 double click on it now choose copy and then replace with your company code and Choose the tolerance group name as SST1. Okay. Press enter to continue. And if you could see here, the currency will be automatically updated. In this tolerance group, you can configure. If we go under automatic acceptance of negative differences, here the lower limit for the negative differences is 200. The percentage for the lower account limit is 4%. Okay. Now these are the SAP standard settings which can be adjusted according to your business requirements. So you have to show the screen to your end user and ask them what is the negative account lower limit and they will tell you and accordingly you will update these values. Okay. Now if you move to the negative small differences here. If the small difference is below the absolute negative small difference limit example it is 10 pounds the system generates a posting to a small differences account okay next view where to assign this tolerance group in the supplier master record and where the system generates a posting to a small differences account in the general ledger account okay so in the supplier master record I'm displaying you the business partner number and I'm showing you the company code data using the role FLVN00. Okay. And you can also find the vendor number under the payment transactions. So here the two fields labeled the tolerances are available. The first is located under the under payment data. Scrolling further down reveals the invoice verification tolerance. Okay. Now here we are configuring the invoice verification tolerance group. Tolerance specific specifies up to which the amount system should automatically clear a balance when one exists and how it should handle the difference. Okay. The tolerance also indicates at what threshold system should post the difference. There are two types of tolerance group. The first created by the finance team relates to the finance tolerance group as the sourcing and the procurement consultants. We typically do not handle this. Okay. The second one is specific to the invoice verification falls under the logistics sourcing and procurement consultant configure this it is our responsibility right now after creating this tolerance group you can assign it to the in the supply master record now, as i mentioned earlier the system posts the negative small differences to the small differences accounts so this is handled through the transaction code obyc which configures the automatic postings from material management to the financial modules. Okay. Now, if you go to the OBYC, under OBYC, you will find the transaction key DIF, which indicates the materials management so small differences account. Okay. Now, here ensure that the general ledger account is under defined under the transaction DIF. In our step, here, if you could see the debit and credit accounts is already been assigned as we use the standard chart of accounts. Okay. In your organizations uses as custom chart of accounts. You must create these accounts and assign them under the transaction DIF. Okay. Now go back to the tolerance settings and let's review the additional configuration options. So set up automatic acceptance of positive differences. Now these differences will be posted to the same GL accounts with a limit of five pounds. Okay and 
An absolute upper limit is 50 pounds per tw and 20%. And system checks both the posting amount and the percentage upper limit. Okay. Configure the automatic invoice reduction. Here, the absolute upper limit is 40 pounds and the percentage upper limit is 5 pounds. Okay. Now, these settings define the limit for the supplier specific tolerances. Save the settings. Create a new customizing request and press enter to continue. Okay. Similarly, you can create a new tolerance group for the another company code. Okay. For the US company code. And enter the details. Right. Update the supplier master with the new tolerance values. Now I'll go back to the supplier master again and click on change button scroll down select the tolerance group with just which we have created now that's it press enter and save the changes that's it the data has been saved okay now go back to the previous screen Right, the new tolerance settings will be reflected in the supplier master record. Okay, now I will move on to the next configurations. So, configurations. So, expand this invoice block node. So, execute the first activity to determine the payment block. So this displays the reasons for blocking the payments and you can create a new reasons if needed here you could see the reasons which we are assigned okay manual payment block payment request post process invoice verification payment clearing okay and remaining okay all the reasons for the blocking payments can be configured in the screen right now go back Alright, I'll proceed to the next configurations. So let us execute the set tolerance limits. In this activity to configure the settings like in the previous step, they are the tolerance keys for the amount of item without the order references that is identified by the tolerance key AN. As well as for the small automatic differences is identified by key BD. If no tolerance group is assigned to the supplier or no specific tolerances are defined, then the system use the key to manage the discrepancies. There are options for small differences including the percentage variance for items posted before the goods are received. Now in some organizations controlling percentage variances is crucial and you cannot you can do that using the tolerances keys. For our organizations that's what exactly that we are going to configure. We have the various variances and the tolerance limits to consider such as exceed amount current quantity variance, quantity variance when GR is C0, price variance, estimated price data variance, and moving average price variances. Now each of these variances is managed by the specific tolerances keys. First, we need to check if your company code is already linked to these tolerances keys or not. As you can see here, currently only we have the moving average price variance is assigned. So what we are going to do now, I'll go to the triple zero one. So I will select all the lines which we need and copy them. So I have selected all these lines except the BP and then click on copy. Then I will go to each tolerance keys one by one. For an example, we have AN, which is amount per item without the order reference. As per the SAP standard settings, this might not be checked. But you will want to confirm with the user to see if it should be active or not. If needed, I will replace the standard company code with SUK1. Right? Press enter. And go to the next. The next is BD, small differences tolerance. For this one, I will set the specific amount required, says the pounds 2.56. 
and the let it assign it to the company called SUK1 again okay now here by assigning these tolerance keys to your company code the system will be able to manage these variances based on our unique business requirement All right next there is a percentage variance for this the lower limit is set to 25% and the upper limit is also set to 25% okay then the VW variance the lower limit is 5% and the upper limit is 2% Moving on to the exceed amount quantity variance, the absolute lower limit isn't checked, but the upper limit is checked. Okay, although there is no value set. After that, we have the DW key, which isn't checked either. So then there is KW variance, where the lower limit is 10.23 with a percentage of 20%, and the upper limit is set to 5.11 with a 5% percent percentage, right? The next is price variance followed by the data variance with all the values set I will save the data now create a new customizing request and then press enter to continue right now if any variances for the differences occurs the invoice will be blocked based on these tolerance settings okay once everything is done I will apply these tolerance keys to the US company code as well. Now I'll go back. Now let's check the item amount settings. Expand the node. Now here select the item amount, check under the invoice block and activate it. Okay. So from here we will check if the item amount block is activated for our company code or not. If it is, we can select the item amount and save the changes. Right. So that's it. Now I'll move on to the next configurations. First set items amount check. So I will specify which involves this versus Now here for the set items amount check, I will specify which invoices the system should check for item amounts based on the criteria such as item category and the goods receipt. Now the system evaluates all the combination of item category and the goods receipts indicator within the company codes, active company codes. I will also copy the standard configuration and replace it with our SUK1 company code. Now set the standard as the item category and the goods received as the criteria. Okay. And, and the data has been saved. Okay. Now then there is an option to configure the stochastic block for the invoices. Okay. Now which is a random block that can be used for the statistical analysis. You can set it up for your company based on your business needs and set a threshold value or the percentage if required okay go back finally let us look at the settings of the document like for the logistics invoice execute it and go to the position and check if your company code is configured if not i will enter suk1 with the document like for 200 days and for us it can be 225 days okay so this means that these number of days the logic invoice will be achieved right i will save these configurations create a new customizing request and press enter to continue and the data has been saved so that's it we are done from here so that's what we need to do in this activity next we will move on to the posting to the logistics invoice using the purchasing order reference. Thank you.